Okay, today we're going to multiply polynomials, and just making sure that we know all the verbiage here. What a polynomial is, poly means many, and I just think about many terms. Okay, so um, these right here, this is a polynomial, and so is this. And to be more specific, this is a binomial, because this is one, two terms. And so is this, one, two terms. So we're, today we're going to multiply a binomial times a binomial. And um, what I use is, is um, algebra tiles to show this, because that's the picture that I need to have in my head. And um, I'm going to try to transfer that knowledge into um, kind of like a chart so that it makes more sense to me. And I know that I didn't miss any pieces. Okay. So the first thing that I do is I write across the top and this, across the side my two terms that I'm multiplying. Now, of course, you know in multiplying, we can only multiply two terms at a time. So here I go. I'm going to multiply x times oh, plus negative 3. And I'm going to multiply um, that by x plus 4. Now x minus 3, x, x plus negative 3, same thing, it just looks a little bit different. I like to tell my students that it's kind of like a makeover. And so what I know, and, and I need to introduce, are my algebra tiles, so I'll bring these guys over. This is x squared, and the, way, the reason why this is considered x squared is because the length and the width of this square is both x like we don't know the value of the length so we just name it x and so x times x we know as x squared okay um, this is considered a positive x and I'll be using this and oops oops um, this and this as a positive x and this and this oops, how do I go back um, as my negative x, if that makes sense. I'm going to put them right here. And um, this is going to be considered my positive one, and this is going to can be considered my negative one. And so here's, these are basically my tiles. So this is the x squared term. The reason why this rectangle is considered x is because it has the same length right there as the x term. Um, and But the this how thick it is is the same unit as one oops I don't know if you can see that it's the same unit as one so this is x times one and this is a one times one so that's considered our unit so there's my algebra tiles um, I actually have physical um, pieces of these in my classroom that I use and have my students use and so alright um, so now we're just gonna multiply these things and this is called the area model because we're going to find the the area of this rectangle that is x plus 4 long and x minus 3 wide. Um, so, so there's my big blue x squared place. Okay, so x times x is x squared. So he goes right there. And then x times 4. Okay, so x times 4 is four x's so we're gonna grab these guys and we need four of them so here's one two three and four and then I'm just gonna kinda like line them up so that they fit really nicely and four okay so there's four x's let me count again one two three four because four times x is four x's does that make sense? Four x's. And then x times negative 3 is, what is it? All right, good. It's negative 3x. So here's 1. And how many of these do I need? Oops. I need 3 of these. So 1, 2, 3. I just line them up here. And I kind of leave a little space, and I do this in my class too, because when they get all like together like this, we can't really see how many we have if it's not labeled correctly. So I kind of space them out so everybody could see how um, how many there are. Leave some more space there. 
Okay, so we have x squared, x times x is x squared. x times all the way over here, 4, is 4x's, 1, 2, 3, 4. And x times negative 3 is 1, 2, 3, negative 3 x's. And then the last piece that you're missing, do you see this little hole here, is negative 3 times 4, which is negative 12. So then negative 12 goes in here, and I usually just write it all in, but I'm going to show you with all these tiles just to make sure it is negative 12. And the reason why there's 12 of them is because 3 times 4 is of course 12, and then but why is it red? Why is it, why aren't they yellow? Why didn't I grab those yellow tiles? Oops, whoa, went a little crazy. Um, I didn't grab those yellow tiles because um, it's not positive. So a negative times a positive is a, a negative. All right, there you go. So there's my answer. Now, if I was to write out my answer, it would look something like this. And I would just have to add like terms together. And so um, help me remember how to put like terms together. So does the x squared have any like terms? Mm, no, because he's the only x squared. So here we go. Here's my x squared, x squared. And then this is 1, 2, 3, 4 x's, so plus 4 x. Down here I have 1, 2, 3. I have three x's, except those x's aren't positive, they're negative, so I put in minus three x. And then I've got these 12 down here. Notice it's a three by four rectangle, and they're negative 12 units. So if you notice, these are the only like terms we got right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add them together. So I've got x squared, I'm gonna copy him because no one changes, and I got minus 12, oops, minus 12, oops, can't write for some reason, minus 12, um, um, back here. So what is 4x minus 3x? So over here, if you look at these guys, right, if I line these up, what's x minus x? Right, that's a zero pair. So a positive one and a negative one make zero. So if you notice, these two match up, these two match up, and these two match up. So think about these three canceling these three. So all I'm left with is this positive one right here. So my answer over here is going to be plus x. And if you want, you can write plus 1x, just so we're all on the same page. So x minus 3 quantity times the quantity of x plus 4 is equal to x squared plus 1x minus 12. Okay. So there is my example of how I do it with tiles. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to incorporate um, how to use this without bringing all these clunky tiles everywhere. Because what we want to do as mathematicians, we don't want to use these tiles every single time. We just want to use this as a foundation to understand um, where all this math stuff comes from. So there's the foundation of it. So when you're thinking of x times x, th think about that big blue square. And x times 4, think about these little green rectangles and then same with these red rectangles except for now they're negative right and so here's my little 12 because that's four times negative three so all you gotta do is line it up so if you want to try this same um, concept um, using tiles again uh, why don't you try a problem and maybe make it look something like um, how about x um, plus two times x minus 5. Okay, um, Practice this and use the um, tiles and then make sure to watch the next video and, um, and understand how I then transfer it to a different organization so that it makes more sense.